Hi, my name is Eva Nyhagen and I'm one of the Sleep Like a Boss sleep consultants. Today I want to talk about circadian rhythm disorder and what you can do if you are struggling with this. Delayed sleep phase syndrome or delayed circadian rhythm is the most common circadian rhythm disorder. It can develop at any age, but it mostly affects younger adults. About 15% are struggling with this. This is a sleep disorder in which the cycle of sleep and wakefulness in your body clock is delayed. So your entire sleep phase has been shifted to a later time than desired. As a result of this, it's difficult to fall asleep at night because the mechanism in your brain that releases the hormones that makes you energetic gets activated a lot later than it should. It can make you stay up very late before you go to bed. It might even be 5 a.m. in the morning before you fall asleep. And the delay makes you wake up a lot later and this often interferes of course with your work or school or other social activities. So your body contains an internal clock that tells you when to wake up and when to go to bed and if you have delayed sleep phase disorder this means that your internal clock isn't running properly. The reason might be long-term bad habits around sleep, bedtime and sleep hygiene could also be increased sensitivity to light, hormonal changes, reduced sleep needs and that the biological clock goes a little slower. It can also be linked to depression or anxiety. For most people, the problems start in puberty where hormones and disturbed development of melatonin production can be one of the biological causes. In addition to biological vulnerability, social factors and habits can also be a major cause. Unfortunately, many people are having these sleep problems for a long time without being aware that there is treatment for this. For many young people, they struggle with both work and studies because they don't manage to get up in the morning. They are seen as lazy, disobedient and unmotivated. Some have, str have struggled with this since childhood and they haven't received the help that they are entitled to. And the tragedy, it is that it, this can result in them dropping out of school or work li life and also developing personal problems. But there are help and a solution to this. I have helped many people who struggle with delayed sleep phase disorder. And after about three weeks of treatment with a sleep diary, daily follow-up, stimulus control, cognitive therapy, sleep hygiene and light treatment, they are back in rhythm and can function normal again. The treatment time varies from person to person as this requires motivation, but my impression is that most people are very motivated to get back into a circadian rhythm. The main focus of the treatment of the delayed sleep phase syndrome is a combination of light therapy that is used to advance the biological circadian rhythm, along with a gradual shift of time one wakes up in the morning. The treatment continues until the resetting is achieved. It's also very important to avoid blue light exposure in the evening and during the night. Your body clock gets confused as the blue light triggers your daytime hormones. This is why you should wear blue light blockers if you watch screens at night. The goal of the treatment is to increase the strength of the circadian rhythm, going to bed earlier, waking up earlier, with better sleep at night and more wakefulness during the day. When using light in the treatment, it's important that the light is strong enough and that you use it exactly the, the time of the day when the circadian rhythm is particularly receptive to light exposure. In practice, this means that you should be exposed to daylight immediately after you wake up and not wearing sunglasses, minimum 30 minutes. This is the best documented way of moving in the biological circadian rhythm. During winter, you might be using a daylight lamp and it's important that it has more than 10,000 lux. Sometimes it may also be helpful to use the hormone melatonin in addition to the light to help shift the circadian rhythm. This must 
then be taken 12 hours before light exposure. So our biological clock also controls our body temperature, our hormones, wakefulness, feeling of hunger. And in essence, it can be difficult to break this pattern without the proper treatment. For many people, this becomes a vicious circle that ultimately has a huge negative effect on both your performance, your mood and other factors during the day. So if the timing of your sleep is affecting your quality of your life, then you should definitely get help. You can book a free initial phone call with me at the Sleep Like a Boss website. Thank you so much for listening. Hi, my name is Eva Nyhagen and I'm one of the Sleep Like a Boss sleep consultants.